The International Union for Conservation of Nature, the IUCN, UCAN, are the main authority for the conservation status of the world's organisms. They're the ones who are responsible, basically, for saying, Yo, this thing's almost done. Please stop killing it. Which is a cool thing! The thing is, only species that have had populations have been evaluated. That is, there are enough of a population that we can regularly study them are listed. Some creatures, like the goblin shark and other deep sea fish, are so seldom seen that we have no effective or accurate way to gauge how fucked they are. A thing most people don't grasp is there are different levels of oh fuck aside from just flat out endangered. Not just animals are evaluated by the IUCN, but plants as well. Also, four species of fungi and protists for sub reason. Let's take a wonderful journey through the world of overkilling and natural selection, shall we? The lowest level of this shit is really not official and really just a side thing, it's domesticated animals. The odds of chickens and cows suddenly going extinct are pretty slim, and if it happens to them, then what the fuck is going on with our species? I mean, shit, fuck the chickens. Moving on! LC, least concern. Least concern species are fucking alright. Punch them, eat them all you want. Their species is probably going to be fine. Ain't nothing too interesting about these. Let's move on. NT, near threatened. Species that are near threatened are ones that may be threatened in the near future but aren't currently. Depending on what happens in the future, their numbers could drop faster than a sack of batteries, but we'll see. Still probably okay to punch, even if your conscience can allow it. The last of the lower risk classifications are species whose status is conservation dependent. These are species that have some sort of program focused on their conservation specifically. If these programs were dropped, they'd end up in one of the higher categories. Currently, there are 300 species with this classification, 46 animals, 254 plants. Only mammals have their population regularly gauged here, for some reason, and only the southern right whale's population is steadily increasing. Try not to punch these that often. Now we're getting into the threatened classes. These are ones I wouldn't punch unless you wanted to punch something that's probably a limited time offer. Vulnerable is the lowest level of threatenedness. Vulnerable species are generally vulnerable due to habitat loss. These are organisms that aren't quite endangered, but they're getting there. There's a weird quirk of these threatened levels that though they can be rare in the wild, they're incredibly common in captivity. The Venus flytrap's wild habitat, the swamps of the Carolinas, is getting fucked up, but they're an incredibly common plant you can purchase at many garden centers. Go figure. Now these are the big ones that people care about, endangered species. An endangered species is a species that is at risk of becoming extinct either due to its numbers dropping too low or some other threat like a predator being introduced that's just obliterating the population. In the United States, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service and Marine Fisheries Service are responsible for classifying federally recognized endangered species. But adding a thing to the list is long and for some goddamn reason controversial. The known species threatened with extinction federally by the United States are ten times higher than the actual number protected under the Endangered Species Act. Critically endangered species are oh god, oh god, fuck, fuck. These are species whose population has or will decrease by 80% within three generations. These are animals that are probably fucked, like our dwarf sawfish friend. However, again, this is a weird case where one can be incredibly common in captivity. Wild axolotls are critically endangered as their habitat around Mexico City is pretty fucked. But they are a common and popular pet around the world. Zorak even has some. How weird. Now we're getting to the really bad ones. EW, extinct in the wild. These are species who only exist within captivity or as naturalized populations outside of their home range. This isn't just rare shit, to be fair. Several aquarium fish that are common are extinct in the wild but can be purchased for a nickel. The biggest example of a species being extinct in the wild is the Pinta Island tortoise, a subspecies of the Galapagos tortoise. Only one of this species, named Lonesome George of the Prog Zoo, remains in existence. He is what is known as an endling. When Lonesome George departs from this mortal coil, his species will be extinct. Finally, the last level is extinction, which, well, you know what that means. There are no more. The species is dead. Done. Gone forever. Barring Lazarus taxons like our silicanth friend, but that's another story. Has to be said that not all species are vulnerable to extinction thanks to human causes. Some species just don't survive. This is a natural thing that's been happening since life itself began. Species disappear from existence, never to be punched again, while other species emerge primed and ready for a good beating.